man hey guys hey guys welcome back to rob's arcade um man i should have brought my headphones i wasn't really thinking about that hopefully the sounds won't be too disturbing don't go anywhere we got a brand new episode of rob's arcade coming right up i'm gonna sit right here i think actually this looks good rob's arcade rob's arcade where the games get played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day rob's yeah, actually, I'm going to sit right here for a second and do my little testimonial right here. So, um, actually, when I first started doing these little uh, video testimonials, uh, getting out and doing these little walkabouts and stuff, um, it was really just, uh, well, to be honest, it was just to be honest. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it was to be honest. Honest with myself, honest with you guys, uh, with everyone out there. And um, to kind of, like basically share uh you know my struggles with alcohol and alcoholism and um you know share this with you guys share these videos and these stories with you guys and hopefully help um you know i guess ultimately help you guys out there if you're going through anything yourself um you know if you know somebody you know you can share this with them and maybe help them if they're going through anything themselves uh and i've kind of gotten away from from these the last the video i actually did uh was a few weeks ago and i was talking um with you guys about you know uh getting back into routine and getting into um, you know, my little walkabouts and my videos and everything. And, uh, yeah, I got to say, <laughs> wow, Robert, what an awesome, what an awesome routine you've developed. So like I was saying, you know, as I've let the day-to-day -day struggles, um, that I've been sharing with you guys kind of get in the way of, um, you know, my routine, uh, like I said, I'm, I've almost completely abandoned uh, you know, my calendar and my morning walks. Um, I've really let go of my journaling and these videos and just really kind of lost, I guess, focus. Uh, but, you know, there's like, you know, no time uh, like the present to get it back. And so I figured what better way than to, um, you know, kick off this Monday, this new week um, with a new thing i like to call the monday word of the week is this a new thing have i done this before the monday word of the week i don't know i feel like i've done like something like that like i was gonna do like a wednesday word of the week but i felt like that would get in the way of my midweek breakdown on wednesday but you know as i go through this like um journey of self-improvement a lot of like common words or phrases or cliche words and phrases keep popping up over and over and I thought it'd be kind of fun to share those uh with you and what a great way to kind of add some routine and make sure you know I get to you guys face on face at least once a week if not more uh but you know um this past weekend I was actually messaging and texting my good friend Andrew just about life and stuff in general and just you know like our next moves and what are we going to do and stuff and as we're texting each other I kind of realized I was a little bit um afraid of my next move if you will a little bit not certain of the next move and uh it, a, a word kept popping into my head which was shook which was which is going to be uh today's uh or this week's word of the week this monday's word of the week and shook what i mean by shook what is shook shook this week's word um i guess you could mean like shake up uh, I think a lot of people might think of like kind of frightened or scared. Um, but I'm looking at more like uh, disoriented and a little bit confused. Um, if I can explain a little bit, it kind of reminds me of like a grenade going off uh, somewhat in your life. And it just leaves you a little bit shook. Um, you know, I think most people think of bombs and things like that when they go off and explosions of like fire and blast and like body parts <laughs> just flying 
And uh, not that that's funny at all. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but I would guess I'm thinking, I'm picturing like a cartoon, you know, like I think that's what most people think of, like, you know, Looney Tunes and little whatever um, video game stuff. Like that's how you kind of picture it. But really it's like, it's a lot more detrimental, it's a lot more dangerous than that. And um, the, some of the, the worst effects of bomb blast are like the percussions and the, the, the shock waves that it produces. It can actually like scramble somebody, like leaving like, you know, their insides, like, you know, like scrambling their insides like eggs. Um, ultimately like, you know, again, having fatal um, results. But, um, you know, sometimes, and a lot of times we've all seen this in movies where, especially like in Michael Bay movies, we have that moment where there's like an explosion or a blast and the hero, you know, he gets up typically in slow motion and he, um, you know, can't hear anything and everything's disoriented and a little out of focus. And it's that, that bomb percussion, that blast that just kind of like left him a little disoriented and a little shook. And that's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of how I feel, uh, right now. Um, you know, I've had like, I feel like enough minor things, well, some, some major things really. I've had enough major things and enough minor things going off in my life where I'm just a little disoriented and a little, little shook and a little, you know, um, uh, afraid, yes, but it's almost like traumatized more, you know. Um, there's a great movie bit that just also keeps popping up in my head. Um, I'm a big movie fan. Uh, Behind Enemy Lines with Owen Wilson when he's like running through that minefield and he's got booby traps going off on either side of him and he's just, you know, running through trying not to get hit by anything. And sometimes I kind of feel like that in my life too, between, you know, like just everything, like moving back home and this separation slash possible divorce um, with my wife and, um, you know, my father's uh, health and just everything, you know, just it's, you know, uh, fender bender that I've had and car issues going on and just so many different little little things popping off here and there um, that it's almost, you know, kind of makes you hesitant to make a move and kind of almost afraid that, you know, you've so many failed attempts and relationships and your marriage, you've screwed that up. And, you know, well, what if I screw up this next move? Um, and it, it can be it can be a little uh, crippling, a little debil. You know, it's you kind of get to the point where it's like, you know, yeah, I can get out there. I can chase something. I can do something else or I can just sit here and, and work this job that I have now and live in this neighborhood that I'm in now, uh, you know, almost out of fear for, um, you know, what could happen if you try to, you know, try to cross, try to cross the street. I don't know, man. It's a scary, it's a scary thing. It worries me. Uh, you know, sometimes I worry about becoming bitter from some of the stuff that's been going on. I don't, I'm a, typically I'm a happy go lucky kind of person. I enjoy life. I like life. Um, but you know, it's just, it's left me worried. I'm going to be a little bitter about things. Um, you know, a little depressed a little in the, in the dumps and I won't have that same zest that I've always kind of had, um, you know, for, for people and, and life, uh, that I typically do enjoy. You know, I typically do enjoy. I, I typically do enjoy. I don't know. Have you guys ever been shook? Is the word? Have you guys ever been shook? Have you ever felt shook? You know, is there anything you can do to stop it? Is there anything you, you did that kind of got you out of it? You know, lucky for me, I've got some great friends, some great family. Like I said, talking with my buddy Andrew this weekend, you know, he really kind of turned my head around a little bit, made me feel a lot better um, about the situation. You know, he's got my back. Uh, Lego's opening a company here in Chesterfield. And I found out when I woke up one morning and had about a half a dozen messages from friends and family. And then a few more started trickling in over the next few days. And it just kind of made me worried though, like, you know, getting out there and trying something like that. Like, what if I screw this up too, guys? What if I mess this up too, you know? But my boy, Andrew reminded me, you know, you can't think like that. You gotta be positive and tackle it. And he's like, he's not gonna let me pass this up. He's gonna help me and, and do whatever he needs to do to make sure, um, you know, I can get this and, and, and give it my best attempts and my best go at, you know, trying to do something I've always uh, wanted to be a part of. And if you don't know me and Lego, I love like actually go, once you've done watching this video, go back to the beginning of my channel. My entire YouTube channel started off with Lego and stop motion. And it's always just been a huge, huge part of my life. And uh, it's a little bit scary. It's got me, like I said, a little bit shook, 
Uh, but I guess I got to shake that off, shake off the shook. Is that what we got to do here, people? <laughs> shake off, shake off the shook. I kind of like that. Anyway, guys, that's your word for the week, shook. Uh, we'll talk more about it later on this week, hopefully. Hopefully I'll see you guys more this week. I got some cool stuff coming up for you. We got the midweek breakdown. And then I want to talk about some comics and some stuff uh, outside of the midweek breakdown. So, uh, sorry, I got some, some gunk and funk on my lip there. Um, so uh, look forward to that as well as, of course, like, you know, uh, New Game Fridays and anything else that I just might hit you with. Uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, before I head into work here. Just kind of catching up with me. Make sure you shoot me a thumbs up for some support. Leave me a comment. Like I said, make sure you share this with somebody. You know, somebody you might know might be going through something, whether it's, you know, alcohol or um, just family stuff or maybe they're addicted to junk food or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and they're kind of struggling and just kind of going through it and feeling down in the dumps and not feeling, you know, um, like 100% themselves. Uh, you know, maybe sharing this with them will let them know that they're not alone out there. There's other people going through stuff too. And, you know, we've just got to wake up every day and kind of give it, you know, our, our best, our best go. So anyway, subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Remember, as always, this isn't goodbye, simply to be continued. Until next time, don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Take care. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy.